This instructional video will enable users to perform software upgrades on the Model 205 power supply. If you have software version 1.4 or below, you will need to perform an operating system master restore before performing this procedure. Please note that if any of the pre-programmed languages have been updated, they need to be saved to an alternate source, otherwise these updates will be lost. Although not required, it is recommended to save all weld schedules before conducting this procedure. Download a copy of the latest software available from the Arc Machines website at www.arcmachines.com. On the website's homepage, click on the Support menu. The Support page will open. On the Support page's side menu under Downloads, click on Product Software. The Software Downloads page will open. On this page, next to Model 205, select the latest version available. Here you can see version 2.0 is being downloaded. A file download window will appear on your screen. Insert a USB flash drive into the USB port on your PC or Mac and save the compressed zip file to the USB flash drive. Once the file has been downloaded to the USB flash drive, the files need to be extracted. Right-click on the file and click Extract All. Follow the on-screen instructions for extracting. Note, the WinZip program must be installed on your PC or Mac in order to extract the files. When extracting is complete, you will see the extracted folder M205 Setup underscore zero. Ensure this file is saved to the USB flash drive and delete the original zipped file. Turn the Model 205 power supply on and wait for this screen to be displayed. The installation requires loading the software from the main Microsoft display screen. To do this, you will need to exit the power supply software without shutting down the machine completely. To accomplish this, press shutdown on the screen. You will now see a blue screen appear. In this screen, you have three options. The first is yes. This will shut down the entire operating system. The next option is no. Pressing no will cancel the shutdown process. The third option is a hidden option. This option is located in the upper right-hand corner. When this region is pressed, the option will shut down AMI software only and not the operating system. You will now see the main Microsoft screen. To continue, you will need to install a USB hub into the USB port on the Model 205 power supply. We recommend using a Tiva Mobile IT 4 port USB 2.0 hub. Insert a USB mouse into the USB hub. And now insert the USB flash drive containing the M205 setup extracted file into the USB hub. Upon inserting the USB flash drive, the autoplay screen will automatically be displayed. Double click on Open Folder to view files. Double click on the Install M205 icon. The command screen will be displayed for as long as 30 seconds. No action is required during this screen. When the Add or Remove Program screen will appear, click Change Remove on the Model 205 program. The Launching Application screen will appear momentarily before the Model 205 Maintenance screen will be displayed. Verify that the Remove the Application from this computer is selected, then click OK. When the Add or Remove Program screen is displayed again, close it by selecting X on the upper right-hand corner of the screen. If the printer is not installed, the Printer Driver screen will open. Note, the printer installation instruction will not be displayed if the printer is installed. Follow the instructions if the window appears. Read the terms and select I accept the terms above and then click Next. On the screen, click Restore Defaults. Check the Proceed Without Confirming Printer Connected box and then click Next. Select the App 1200 printer model and then click Next. Select Yes on Do You Want Your Printer to be the default printer and do not share this printer.
and then click Next. On Do You Want to Print a Test Page, select No, and then click Next. To finish the wizard, click Finish. The Application Install screen will automatically appear. Click Install. The installation process will be completed automatically. This may take a few minutes. The Model 205 software will load automatically and you will see the software version installed in the center of the screen. You will now need to restart the power supply. Select Shutdown, then select Yes. Your software installation is now complete.